Miss Trahan, were you and your husband both in the car or no. just you? No. So you are here because the car is jointly owned, is that right? Correct, Your Honor. So you were not a witness? No. You can have a seat. You were in an automobile accident that you claim was the defendant's fault. Right. I don't think that the defendant would deny that if there was an accident, it was her fault. She says there was no accident. That's interesting. Okay. That's what she says. She says there was no accident. So why don't you tell me the date of this accident? June 27th, 2017. What time? 2.15 in the afternoon. Could you go over to the board and show me which one was your car? I am the orange car with the P on a plaintiff. Okay. So you were going straight down the road. The defendant had a stop sign. Correct. I had the right of way on this Main Street, Grand Via, Altamira. So she went through the stop sign. Correct. Right in front of me. Across in front of me. She crossed in front of you? Yes. And then what happened? And then she shot through, so she didn't hit me. She headed towards this curb here. And then to avoid hitting the curb, she swerved out and struck my right front fender and her left front wheel. Okay. Do you have a photograph of the damage? Yes, I did. I'd like to see it. Since the car is brand new, I had a very difficult time taking pictures because it's shiny and I got a lot of reflection. What kind this of car was, was it? 2017 Porsche Give Boxster. Her all of them, Kim. Okay. Do you want her damage also? First, let me see yours. Okay. Did you both get out of your car? Yes, we did. Show me where you were when you both got out of the car. Right in the same area here. So she stopped? Yes, she did. And then as she did so, she said, I have a microfiber cloth in my car. Well, she, first she stopped. OK. Didn't say anything. She stopped, she got out of the car. She apologized profusely. What did she say? She said, I'm so sorry. I tried not to hit you, and I swerved, but I didn't make it. Her son was traveling with her in the car. Where was he? In the passenger seat in the front or in the back? I believe so, in the front seat. You believe so? Yes. Were you in the front seat? Yes. Did you exchange information? We exchanged phone numbers. Not insurance information? Not at that time. We exchanged phone numbers. She texted her phone number to me there on the scene. And for some unknown reason, one of the phone numbers she gave me for her home was a Minnesota phone number, and I don't know why. Did she give you a working phone number? Yes, the cell number. She texted it to me as I stood there. And I have the text with me. I'd like to see it. And the whole time that she had stopped, her son kept saying, I'm sorry, Mom, I'm so sorry, Mom, about three times. She never gave me her license or any type of address. I had to go seek that out for myself. Well, you asked her for your insurance registration card. And she never gave it to me. Why not? I gave my insurance card. No, my when? your number. Shh, shh, shh. I have um, the complete text exchange between May us. I see it? No one, sh no license. Shh. Did you tell your insurance company that you didn't hit her car? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Why? Because we came close, but I did not. That's baloney. I did That's not. baloney. It's baloney because you wouldn't have gotten out of your car if you didn't hit her. We stopped. You wouldn't gotten out of your car if you didn't hit her. So my question to you, I'm going to repeat it again, why did you tell your insurance company that you didn't hit her? I told my insurance company that I did not feel an impact. We were oh, very the... close, and I rolled down my window, and she was right there. That's not true. How could you lie? Is that what you want to teach him, how to lie? Is that what you want to teach your son, how no, to lie? Your Honor. OK, well, that's what you're doing. Because your son was in the car, he knows that you hit her. So if what you want to do is teach him how to grow up to be a liar, you're doing a good job. That is not what I want to do. Well, then you want to tell me why you told your insurance company that there was no accident. Because, so do you want me to go? No, I want you to tell me. You and I both know that there was an accident. We both know it because everything she told me was true. That you got out of the car, that you said, I'm so sorry, I tried to avoid you. I did not say that. 